I imagine safer and higher quality 3D printed parts for airplanes or tools used in biomedical labs. That is set to be a reality in Singapore with new industry standards to help businesses carry out additive manufacturing with less waste and cost. Industry players, government agencies and even the armed forces had a hand in drawing them up. Shwa Tien Tien again with this one. The Singapore Armed Forces has been making use of 3D printing to build things like training equipment and drones. It's now sharing that experience with government agencies and industry players to come up with a set of more stringent industry standards for additive manufacturing. These will also allow the SAF to build more critical equipment such as gears in ships or planes. Prior to the, to the development of these standards, we are mainly focused on parts that are not safety critical for 3D printing. An example is a battery casing that we did for one of our uh, long span bridges. With these standards itself, we can actually ensure that we have more stringent uh, uh, requirements for certain more critical parts and such. The industry standards will benefit SMEs who may not have the resources to develop their own 3D printing processes. For example, one standard will guide them on how to use metal powders in the process and check products for quality. One company that inspects and certifies 3D printed goods says this could cut waste. These standards uh, already give guidance that uh, which tests you have to do, how many tests you have to do, the number of cycles uh, to develop a part that, that you, where you can declare is qualified can be reduced, for example, from 20 to 5 uh, iterations. So there you already uh, save time and um, money. Another standard gives guidelines for complex 3D printed parts to reduce design errors that could cause serious injuries. One industry group says the new standards will benefit all sectors. We will definitely um, mention about it uh, to the, the different SMEs that we are engaging. NEMI is also in, involved in engaging the ecosystems. So uh, we will bring this up uh, during our engagements or our uh, discussions with them. Mr Lee hopes the standards will encourage more firms to use additive manufacturing in their processes.